Hey guys, Youngblood with you for another Picking the Right Ship video, and this time we're going to be covering search and rescue ships. Now the short version to this is that you could probably have the ability to conduct search and rescue in just about any ship that has a seat for a second player, but that doesn't necessarily make it the best option either. Sure, if the player is conscious and not really needing medical attention, then you could just kind of swoop in and pick them up, but let's look into a little bit more detail at some of the ships that I think give you some better options in this career and why. Now first up is going to be the obvious choice, and that's the dedicated Star Citizen Ambulance, being the Cutlass Red. Now the one caveat to this choice is that the Cutlass line is going through a pretty major rework right now, so we don't really know what to expect out of it at the end of the day. But it does have that role that's being defined as being search and rescue, and that's typically what CIG tries to balance and build to. The dedicated role in the description of the ship. The Red comes equipped with long-range scanners and echo transponders to help you in finding some of those threats that are out there, as well as your targets that you're looking for as well. So they're either going to be free-floating spacemen or potentially those that are in escape pods. The Red should also be pretty maneuverable, allowing you to avoid debris on the way in to pick up your patient. But what really makes this ship a great option is that the cargo hold has been converted to have the auto dock medical platform, so you can perform some medical operations at maybe a little bit more limited than a dedicated hospital, but um, you could even potentially have the system do most of the work while you get out of the danger zone flying and head to a real hospital. Now this ship is probably best suited to a crew of two to three, but I think it could viably be used by just one person as well. The next ship that I'm going to discuss is a little bit more unconventional in this role, and that's going to be the Redeemer. The Redeemer is a drop ship in a gunboat, and while that doesn't technically say I'm going to be in search and rescue, um, and while it doesn't necessarily have a dedicated medical section, it does have some nice living quarters and plenty of seats on the interior for people to sit at. Additionally, this ship is likely going to be getting some more modularity, and I wouldn't be surprised if there was some form of a medical application built into it, but that does come with some speculation as well. Regardless, the Redeemer makes for an interesting choice because of its other roles. It should be durable and scary, so if you're trying to rescue someone that's in a dangerous area with a firefight that's still going on, you have good shields, you have good maneuverability, and good tur turret coverage with big enough weapons to allow you to swoop in, make your rescue while providing cover fire, and to get out. This ship is probably best suited to picking up someone who just ejected and isn't necessarily hurt since we can't really count on the medical facilities at this point. But even then, we do know that there's going to be some handheld medical options, so you could perform some very minor healing to whoever you pick up. Finally, the dropship portion of this ship makes it interesting because it could be a good option for picking up those that were injured in a first-person shooter scenario or maybe like ground engagements. Now once we get past those two ships, the size of this ship scales up pretty fast uh, into ships that I think fit this role pretty well. So let's go ahead and jump into the obvious option in the bigger category, and that's the Endeavor Hope. The Hope is the dedicated hospital platform with a landing bay that's big enough to hold a cutlass or two, meaning that outside of the fact that you have full medical facilities on board, you could also bring ambulances along to bring your patients to you. The Hope also comes with the nice benefit of being mentioned by the developers to allow people to respawn in your ship after a death, and then they could potentially even take a ship that's on board uh, to a cost at them and profit to you. But what really makes this shine as a search and rescue option is that you're not just placing people you know, in the back of a cutlass and trying to patch them up, hoping to allow them to live. You're probably going to be able to do full restoration. It's not a med bay. It's a full-on medical facility. So if someone is at death's door, the Endeavor Hope is going to be your best option at saving them outside of getting them to a planetside hospital. The Caterpillar is a ship that I think fits this mold pretty well, because outside of some developers discussing this as a decent search and rescue ship, the modular potential here means that I would be shocked if we didn't have the ability to make it what you needed it to be for this role. The ship should have a decent range and uh, can customize the modules to perfectly fit the craft. For example, you could have a cargo module for holding medical supplies or maybe dragonflies to get out to get people and back to your ship. Not to mention they have the side opening doors on those, or at least they should, um, making it easier for you to get into the ship quickly without having to traverse through docking collars with a potentially unconscious person. You could also upgrade your scanners or even potentially equip a scanning module to help you in finding those that are in need. And even if there doesn't end up being a dedicated medical module, which I believe there will be, knowing the Drake Cutlass Red has the ports for an auto dock is a good sign that compatibility will be there um, for you to equip the same thing on board your Caterpillar. The Cat is a ship that I think is going to give you different ways to go about search and rescue, but at the end of the day, it should work really well. 
Up next is the Ket or the Carrick. Uh, it's a dedicated exploration ship, but that exploration piece is one of the aspects that makes it a good search and rescue option. Having upgraded scanners and long range means that you can get to where you need to go out in the black, and you still have the ability to track down ship records or transponders. The open cockpit design also means that you have good visibility on the bridge for a lot of eyes to help in trying to find targets, even if there isn't a transponder or a signal to track. Um, and the Carrick has an onboard hangar with a runabout ship that should have at least one extra seat, meaning that you can not only use that to help widen your search net, but the scout ship can also pick up a person and bring them back to the Carrick pretty quickly. And the other piece is that the Carrick has an onboard medical facility to help with the crew on long journeys, but there isn't a reason to believe that this wouldn't suffice for those that you find along your way, meaning that you can also heal those people that are in need. Now there are others that we could consider here, but we start getting into capital ship territory. For example, the Polaris has a hangar and an onboard medical bay, as do the Javelin, the Idris, and the Bangle. And all would work well in helping those in need, not to mention that they're all a really imposing force, meaning that if there's a skirmish going on, you could really spook off those aggressors while you go about your uh, search and rescue operations. But they're also big, military focused, and that tends to come with a lot more cost, meaning that there's going to be better options to accomplish your task, at least in my mind. So there, those are my search and rescue recommendations for those of you that are looking to put a ship like that into your fleet. Uh, it is worth noting that I really covered ships that are more looking to pick up players that were needing help as opposed to doing other types of search and rescue like refueling or repairs, but that wasn't really what I was covering here. So if you have questions about any of this or other ships that you think would fit the bill well, please add them in the comments. Otherwise, stay tuned for a whole lot more content coming soon. I appreciate you guys watching. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Take care.